What is going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 8 of Madden Sunday School. And this episode is going to be about running hitch routes against man-to-man -man coverage. In particular, it's going to be smart routed hitch routes against press man-to-man -man coverage. Now, uh, this year, press man has become a little more prominent than last year. And so it's good to have ways, or, or good to have multiple ways, I should say, of beating that man-to-man -man style press coverage. So what you're going to see right here, I'm in trips tied in out of the New England Patriots playbook. And yes, you can beat man-to-man -man with normal stuff like drags and hitches, and or drags and slants and in routes and deep crossing routes like right there with Brandon Cooks. He's going to get that inside positioning a lot of the time, especially with that speed. But what a lot of players will do is they'll go ahead and call man-to-man -man coverage, and then they'll user the middle of the field and take away anything breaking over the middle of the field that gets separation, such as slants, crossing routes, drag routes, stuff like that, and force you to have other ways of beating uh, that man-to-man -man coverage. So it's good to have, obviously, multiple different ways. So one way we're going to talk about today is the hitch route and why it is so good. So first things first, kind of... The difference between a hitch and a curl, I want to show you guys. So Amendola, that's a curl route that Danny Amendola, the Y receiver, is on. Chris Hogan, that is a hitch route. So you can put either of these guys on hitches. Um, you can't put any receiver on a hitch. So I couldn't put Brandon Cooks on a hitch route if I wanted to. Hitch routes are only hot routes available uh, for slot receivers. So anybody out wide, uh, such as Brandon Cooks in this trips tight end formation, you will not be able to put them on a hitch. Instead, his kind of version of a hitch is a smoke screen, as you see right there, uh, which isn't going to be as effective against man-to-man -man coverage. So that's something to note. Hitches only available uh, for slot receivers and not for tight ends either. Uh, tight ends don't have that option. So only slot receivers. But kind of contrasting here, I have the defense in a two-man under pressed defense. So uh, you're going to be able to see kind of the difference uh, between the curl route and the hitch route interaction uh, with man-to-man -man coverage. I'm going to go ahead smart route Hogan. So uh, that's going to bring the hitch to about a 10-yard depth, still a little shorter than the curl, but almost identical, you know, in, in how they look uh, in terms of the route. But you're going to see uh, the difference as I snap the ball here. So go ahead, snap the ball. And as you can see, Hogan not going to get pressed at the line of scrimmage while Amendola does. Now, this is important for several reasons. The first, I think, is pressure. So if your opponent's you know, calling some type of man-to-man -man blitz, cover zero blitz, sending six, and pressing your receivers, you're not going to have time to wait for uh, your receiver to jostle through the press animation and get positioning and run his route. Uh, you're going to be, your, your quarterback's going to be on his butt. So it's good to have routes that don't get bumped at the line of scrimmage. So as you're going to see right here, roll the footage and you see how Hogan just gets a free release the corner turns lets him get that free release off the line of scrimmage whereas Amendola sitting here jostling with position and so you see how much quicker Hogan already turning around and Amendola essentially just started his route so the hitch develops a lot quicker than the curl probably about a second a second and a half which is huge in terms of time in the pocket uh, so that's the first reason. And the second reason, obviously, it makes it easier to deliver this ball when you don't get pressed. You see how you can contrast Amendola and Hogan here. You see how Hogan's defender is basically running on the side of him. So when Hogan turns around, the defender keeps running for a little bit and kind of overruns the route. That's when you can deliver the ball on the timing as soon as Hogan turns around. But now with Amendola, what you see with the curl route, since he beat the press coverage, the corner is now playing a trail technique. And what that's going to do, Amendola is going to end up turning back into the corner. So the corner is actually in a better position to make a play on the ball because he's behind the receiver. So Amendola is going to end up turning back into the corner. And I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, throwing that curl route and how it, it just isn't nearly as clean as a hitch route. So we're going to go ahead and deliver the curl to Amendola here off the press. And so you can see right there how quickly he actually held on to it, but he's getting hit. You know, as soon as he catches the ball, he's getting hit. So you have a much higher chance of dropping the ball that, that brings your receivers catching and catching traffic ratings into play. You have a higher chance if there's a really good corner playing man-to-man -man on that route, there's a good chance that, you know, if it's someone like Patrick Peterson, he might jump the route and pick it off. So it just brings a lot of other factors in, and that's why these hitch routes are so much better than curls against man-to-man -man coverage. So and, and this can be done not only with Hogan. You can put Hogan on a curl and Amendola on a hitch like I talked about earlier. And we can do the same thing to Danny Amendola right there. As you see, 
going to go ahead with the possession catch and come down with the ball. So you can do it with either um, either slot receiver. Obviously, if you're in something like a doubles formation, you have one slot receiver. You can only do it with him. But in something like a trips tight end or anything with three receivers on one side of the field, you're going to be able to do these hitch routes with either of those slot receivers, whether it's the inside slot or the outside slot. So just a quick little tip for you guys. If you've been coming up against man-to-man -man press coverage, I know some people can struggle to beat it because a good player on defense is going to adapt to what you're doing and he's going to take away the routes that you've been using to beat man to man and then you know next thing you know oh he's taken away you know my two or three routes that I know to beat man to man and you know I'm stuck all of a sudden he's blitzing the pass rush is getting there and you don't have any reads so this is a great way and it's hard to use her right because people don't want to have to use her a hitch route like that's the last thing people want to have to sit on is a hitch route People want to be able to use her, you know, slant routes, drag routes, stuff going over the middle. They want to bait you. They want to try and, you know, use her the drag and then go back up. If you have a post route or something, they're going to be looking to use her that. People don't want to just sit on a hitch route. So uh, this is a great way, in my opinion, to beat man-to-man -man press coverage in Madden 18. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely comment. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what I can do better for future videos, guys. As always, thank you for watching. And until next time, take it easy.